Hey Simleys, it's Delicacy here and Merry Christmas! It is Christmas morning in Australia, which I know is Christmas Eve for a lot of you, but to my Australians and New Zealand and anyone who's in an area where it's Christmas right now, Merry Christmas you guys! And um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. And if it's tomorrow for you, please enjoy it. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a lovely day in any case. So we are back in The Sims 4 with Parenthood Part 45. And I will update you guys. Uh, the last part of Parenthood was demonetized. So every video is getting demonetized, but I'm still making them because I love this LP. And uh, I wanted to have Christmas with them too. So yeah. By the way, Esther is really, really hungry. So I'm just going to get uh, Clarice, who's getting ready for work, to just quickly give some food to Esther right now. Uh, it's really annoying how they take so long to put the baby in the chair. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys. Okay, there we go. That actually didn't take too long. Other times it's taken longer. Why is Clarice so hungry? She ate like right before I started recording. So I'm a little bit confused by that. Oh, we've got another thing to repair. Dang it, girl. You know what? Let's just get Clarice to steal Bailey's scrambled eggs. Because um, she has work real soon. Oh my gosh, she has work. And we haven't done the business calls. No. This is the last. Oh, we can't even do business calls. Okay, cool. Uh, in the last part, I also made a big boo-boo. <laughs> okay. Apparently when I said um, make business sore. calls, I clicked like take a vacation way. day. And you guys were like, no, Deli. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Anyway, um, so she's just eating that. This is kind of nice. Everyone's having breakfast together. I feel a little bit sad for Esther over here because she's kind of like eating by herself and she's kind of like, hey guys, I'm still here. <laughs> That's okay. And Burger might be a little bit hungry too, so we do need to feed him. Uh, so let's fill and call Burger to eat and then we're also going to hire a repair service as well. Cool, so I thought in this part, because it is Christmas, we would do a little bit of, I think we'll treat this as Christmas Eve um, for their family. And they're going to have like a family celebration for Esther's birthday. And we are going to age up little Esther. Also, you guys voted in the last part for if we should add Judy to the household. And it was almost 50-50. I think it was like 47% one way. So it was really, really close. And yeah, now I still don't know you guys. <laughs> I wanted it to be like a really definitive answer, but it wasn't. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get little Esther out of the chair. Um, oh, she's crying. Why is she sad? She's like, I want to get out of this chair. Get me out of this chair. You know what, honey? If I was in that chair, I would totally feel like I was locked in as well. I would not like being locked into a chair. I understand the tears. Okay, Burger's already gobbled that all up. Look, Luigi's here. I wish his name was Luigi. <gasps> Can we just get like a cute little picture of these guys right now? Because I feel like this is adorable. Look at how she looks at her mama. So sweet. So sweet. Oh! Oh, what? Okay. You do not want to be sitting under there, girl. She's like trying to go back into Bailey's stomach. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, all right, moving on. Let's just get Bailey to go to the loo. I want them in a really nice mood. Does Clarice go to work or does she just stay here and take a vacation day and enjoy the party? I feel like she should take a vacation day because she's not gonna, yeah, she's going to work now. She's not gonna get leveled up, I don't think, without making those business calls. Oh, well, she'll go to work anyway. We'll call her back, I suppose, if it doesn't go up much. And Bailey's being a good girl, she's cleaning up. All right, why? Okay, Victoria's uncomfortable because of the mess in the place, so let's just mop that up. Bailey's really responsible, though. She does have the responsible traits, so she's very, hey, don't drink from the puddle. <laughs> Okay, looks like I'm all done here, $89. And did the gardener ever come? I thought the gardener would also dispose of the dead plants, but maybe not. Okay, well, we only half killed the garden. We didn't kill the entire garden, so that's a win, isn't it? Okay, let's just, just dispose of some of these because we want to get the house in order and then we want to plan Esther's birthday party. So does Esther have like any friends to invite? Okay, we have Lilaney, her first semi-enemy. Okay, that's good. 
and lots of adults. So it's mostly going to be adults, but hopefully she'll meet some other friends in time. So I'm thinking what we do is have like a nice, hmm, we could set something up out here maybe and put the shade up. I mean, it's kind of annoying because there is a tree in the way. So do we just do a sneaky, let's just be real sneaky for a second here and just, you know, no one will know that the trees moved. <laughs> Don't you wish you could do this in real life? So Judy can kind of be there at the party as well. I mean, I probably personally wouldn't like a grave like right where I can see uh, and I'm eating. That's just me. But, uh, you know, for this, I think it's nice because it's a Sims. Okay, uh, this all of a sudden got really morbid. I'm sorry, you guys. It's Christmas. Why am I speaking like this? Okay, let's put these shades up. Hello. Okay, so we can do this and we'll just have like a cute little outdoor area. A lot of you guys are also really wanting us to move, which is kind of exciting because sometimes I get the feedback that I move around too often in The Sims, but you know, I'm just an impatient person. I just like love moving lots. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we've got that. We've got a little barbecue area and I guess what we'll just need to get is some tables. Um, this might be kind of cute for her to sit on maybe. And what else do we want? Fairy lights? I feel like these are pretty extra. They're pretty big. Uh, let's just put move objects on. Okay, that's on. That's good to go. All right. And this is like... I know it should be kind of Christmas themed, but I don't think these balloons come in Christmas colors. <laughs> and this is an Australian Christmas celebration because, uh, because it's warm in Australia and this is what our Christmases look like. Cause I know some of you guys, there's some balloons near Judy. Some of you guys would be like, but this doesn't look like Christmas at all, but it does in Australia. In Australia, mate. Uh, okay, so we've got these. Let's see if there's some cuter. Oh, this looks like Monsters, Inc. It's like a merge of the green guy and the monster guy. I've forgotten their names. Uh, okay, let's just go like that. And go like this. Cute. Oh, no, no, not cute with the pole in your face. Okay, and then last of all, we'll just get some nice little seating arrangements. So let's go over to here and like that. And no, we don't need a shade on the table. Let's just get maybe, hmm. Where is what I am looking for, you guys? I just want like this. Yes, this is what I want. This is what I want. Okay, we'll just make it really bright and colorful. And uh, then we'll just need to bake a cake, do all that good stuff. Maybe we can get some different fairy lights instead of the ones that we had before. <gasps> Let's use this cats and dogs seat. That is so cute. I know the colors don't really go, but do they have to go? Hmm, I don't know. I don't think they have to go, but... Hmm, I mean the green one goes more with the table, but I like the red cushion better. So we're going with a lot of floral theme right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we're just having a nice barbecue. I think this needs to be moved over there. Yeah, cute, cute, cute. All right, last of all, we need to get those lights hanging up and then we should be good to continue on. Do we want the thong lights? I don't think so. I don't like it. Uh, where are the other fairy lights? Hmm. It annoys me when things aren't in the correct order. Okay, well, let's just put these thong lights up. Maybe Esther really loves the beach, so she wanted a beach-themed birthday. There we go. And actually, there's Christmas colors of these, so we can put a little bit of Christmas up. This is so what Australia looks like, like higgledy-piggledy some Christmas decorations, but not really because they don't really suit our environment because it's warm. <laughs> That's totally adorable though. All right, back into gameplay. Cool. Well, I think Bailey, what is Bailey watch doing? Watch okay, out. so she's teaching yeah. some manners, I think. Rimble. Is she going to say please and thank you? So they're having a little bit of a nice bonding time uh -huh. together. And oh my God, this can be so cute when Esther starts Naughty. making the school projects just like Bailey did. And Bailey's going to help her. <laughs> Oh, it's too much to handle. All right, little Esther, you can... How is she actually feeling? Oh my gosh, she's in the best mood ever. She's gonna have the best birthday 
ever. Okay, let's get Bailey to make a cake. Uh, so let's cook the cake. Where are we? What kind of cake do we want to make? Oh my God, that rhymed. Should totally wrap. What kind of cake do you want to make? And then, also, you guys did remind me that Burger can't get in and out of the dog door. I was so stupid not to realize that. I apologize. <laughs> so yeah, now we have the good dog door. Although I don't really like... Uh, that's all right. That goes with the color of the wall, at least. Uh, okay, that's cool. So Burger can get in and out that way so that is good and oh also burger can no longer fit on this doggy bed so we'll get rid of that because we don't need it and i think we did we have a bigger doggy bed somewhere i swear we did did we did we not uh pets i still can't believe we only have like two beds and no kennels or anything or no dog houses so ridiculous Rid ridiculous Okay, we'll just put that there. So it kind of looks like it just kind of drags into the corner just like that. Beautiful. All right. So Bailey's going to bake a cake in a second. Oh, gosh. Now, what? Are you, are you having a little tantrum, honey buns? A little tantrum? Oh, my gosh. I feel like Bailey should really deal with this. <laughs> uh, oh, we'll just let her do her thing for the moment. <laughs> That's really not great parenting, but, you know what we're gonna do and also let's plan outfits with little esther oh good job victoria absolutely slaying the game with uh getting rid of all that garbage making sure the house is beautiful for the little party that's gonna happen tonight and who do we think is gonna actually cook on the barbecue oh and we're definitely going to invite max of course uh, max will be coming elliot will be coming you know, we'll just try and get as many as we can so what's your little party outfit <gasps> That is so cute. I kind of want to keep that, but then at the same time, I just want to do something different because this is her last outfit as a toddler, you guys. I get way too emotionally attached. This is cute. <gasps> With the little sprinkles. You guys, it would be rude not to. It would honestly be rude not to. The question is, do you guys want her in the blue? Or the green. I kind of like the green. I think the green's a little bit different, a little bit unusual. And does she want little animal slippers? Nah, I don't really want that. I think we'll just go with some shoes that kind of suit the outfit. Maybe the pink to go with the pink and to keep it really rainbowish. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Maybe we can put her hair up in this. She probably has like similar hair to Bailey. All right, you guys, just check out this incredible view that they are going to be looking over for the birthday. I just think that is so pretty looking over the water in the waterfall. That is just pristine goodness. So, 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 so sweet. Uh, it'll be weird when they leave this house, if they leave this house, they decide to. Uh, are you, she's still having a tantrum and it's really, really very naughty. So we need to... Give her a lecture or something. Uh, can we do some parenting? Teach you say please and discipline recent behavior. I think Bailey would <laughs> be calm and say, excuse me, please do not have emotional meltdowns. <laughs> I don't think she should speak exactly like that. But, uh, you know, that's cute. All right. Now let's get that cake straight into the inventory because we know what happens when you leave cake out. The Sims always eat them. He's like, honey, you do not have tantrums like that. You naughty, naughty thing. Oh, look at Burger just having a little, little run around. Oh, no. Does he have fleas? Oh, dear. Lecture about playing in trash and lecture about barking. Oh my gosh, Bailey has a lot of mothering to do right now. Uh, pet care. I feel like he needs a bath or something. We need to get rid of that. Because that's kind of nasty. Also, what time does Clarice finish work again, you guys? She's at work until 6. Hmm, I think we'll definitely finish work early. Like, see, she's not going to get to the end of this, I don't think. Unfortunately. Oh, look at her go up and down the stairs. Adorable. Getting, climbing to the next life stage, you guys. That is beautiful. 
Oh, bless. <laughs> so significant. All right, cool. Now, Victoria, I feel like Victoria hasn't really been doing much. <laughs> I think she needs to invite Sylvia over and Xavier over. Wow, their relationship has gone down so much, uh, which is kind of sad. Hopefully they can get it back to normal. And look, it's a mini toilet. <laughs> so cute. Oh, good. Sylvia will be over soon. Okay, and Burger's looking a lot better right now. Okay, Bailey's just going to leave that mess right there. Okay, well, Xavier and Sylvia will be here soon. Uh-oh, he's looking a little bit grumpy. He's heated. Sylvia's like, Mom, I'm home. Oh, that's so sweet. I feel like she hasn't seen Sylvia for so long. She'd be so happy. And Bailey should definitely go say hey to, uh, to Sylvia and be like, how are you doing? Oh, she's already helping clean up. Oh, she was, but she's not anymore. Uh, I don't want them to romance. They've never been romantic together. Okay. They haven't seen each other for so long. Aw, oh, that was a cute greeting. She'd be like, oh my god, I can't believe Esther's already aging up. This is crazy. I remember when we were kids. Oh, I know. She's having so much fun playing right now. All right, well, I reckon three o'clock party is probably a good idea. So we're going to leave work early. Uh, I really don't think that she was going to level up. I know some of you guys might disagree, but I don't think she was. Okay, she's back. She's earned a lot of cash, 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 sweet cashola, which is always a good time. And yeah. Okay, let's throw a party. Clarice really needs to get out of her work clothes. I'm so over these work clothes. That's partly why I would like her to level up as well. Let's get her into something nice. Let's get her into her black skinny jeans and her peplum top. They're having a good gossip. Okay, well, Bailey, let's get you into a different outfit as well. Uh, into something that's a little bit more festive oh why don't we just wear overalls let's just go catch i love that outfit on bailey i think she looks so cute and she's wearing wedges which are pretty dressy got a bit of a heel on them and yeah all right let's do this you guys let's age her up oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh okay uh all right plan a social event we're gonna have a party we're gonna have a party Okay, toddler play date. Oh, oh, I have, I just recorded this slumber party mod overview. So I've still got that in my game, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to do a nice birthday party. I'm going to take off prestige event because I don't want there to be any pressure. Uh, our guests, well, obviously the household guests and Sylvia. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh my God. Let's inv invite Carl, Rennie, Lani. Uh, Olivia for sure, Elliot for sure, Oliver, Xavier, where's Max, Tonya, Marina, Sonia, I forgot, I, I totally forgot she has so many friends now, <laughs> she has all her little friends to invite, uh, I mean they already live with us so we don't need to invite them, I feel like there's too many sims, should she invite her dad? Ooh, I think she would to be nice, but yeah, I don't think so. And Jeffrey. Now, Jeffrey's always been a, an interesting interest, you know. Jeffrey kind of waltzed in and he seemed like a nice guy. We don't need a caterer or a mixologist or an entertainer. If there were clowns, I would totally get an entertainer. Actually, no, I would not because that's really, clowns are really, really oh, creepy. Right. Okay, birthday celebrations need a cake. Well, we got that because we planned ahead. Okay, Xavier and Sylvia are such a cute couple. Uh, we should we should say hi to Xavier. We haven't said hello yet. Well, just go away. Wow, that's just rude. Oh, I'm so excited for Max to visit. Oh, look at her. She's like, where are all my friends? <laughs> oh... Oh my gosh, she's playing you the flowers. Adorable. This outfit, is it just me or is this outfit everything? Do you guys just love it? <laughs> oh, look who it is! Max and Elliot's here, yay! Okay, okay. 
Oh, Far he's probably nervous day. for her Ask. birthday. He's like, okay, I've got this. I've got this. Imagine if you just aged up. Like, you just spun around and then you aged up. Imagine how stressed parents would be for that moment. Okay, well, this guy came slightly overdressed. Oh, well, that was sweet. These guys are getting along. Oh, maybe we should switch to Max. Oh, no, if we switch to Max, we won't be able to continue the party event. Um, okay, just have a bath, a rose petal bath and a mask in our house for your granddaughter's birthday. Philip, I'm sorry, I don't like him. I don't feel like he's a nice person. I feel like Clarice would not like him under her roof, seeming he totally ditched Bailey. It's not cool. Wow, you're looking damn fine. Remember when Oliver and Clarice were going to date? It's just brightening his day. Uh, give a heartfelt compliment to Elliot. Everyone's here, which is really, really cute. All right, and maybe we'll get... Let's get Victoria to do the grill. Uh, she can make some baked potatoes. That would be nice. Oh, and of course, Philip's going to just, like, help himself to everything. Of course. Oh, he's like, hi, Clarice. He would suck up to her so much. Or not suck up, but he would just be so fond of Clarice and just really want to be involved with Bailey's family. He is so handsome. Oh, my God. In that cream shirt and these pants and those shoes. Oh, so nice. Hey, Olivia, how you doing? And wow, this one, Tonya's come to say hello. Um, <laughs> Philippe and Tonya are an interesting couple, that's for sure. Clarice would hate them being there, but she's going to be a super class act and not care. So that's good. All right. Well, everybody, maybe let's get, uh, let's maybe get Bailey to pick up little Esther Judy. Although I hope Max just hangs out with her anyway. Oh, he already is. Good, good. He's really learning to be a good dad. Oh, cute. And she is getting low energy, so she's not going to last at her own birthday party for very long. All right, let's call household to meal. Oh my gosh, Xavier, what a sweet guy. Just set the table for everyone. And the table setting actually matches the table runner, so I am very impressed. <laughs> really, really cute. All right, you guys, Merry Christmas Eve slash happy birthday. Typical that Tonya's like sitting inside because it's just awkward. Oh, this is really cute. Where, 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 where is Bailey? Where are all the toddlers actually? Oh my gosh. The toddlers are just freely roaming around. <laughs> Uh, should we maybe pick one up and like bring her to the house? I should really get going now. No, Sylvia. I guess she had another another gig to go to, so that's fine. And we need to think about where this cake is going to go. Okay, here the toddlers are. Oh, look at them all wander around. We should age them all up. Yeah, we totally should. That is adorable. Look at all the toddlers. So cute. Okay, so cute. Um. I love how overdressed Jeffrey Ridley is. He just really wants to impress Bailey. Max looks pretty happy with himself. That makes me happy as well. All right, well, let's get this birthday cake and get this show on the road. Oh my gosh, they're dancing. They're so adorable. I can't. And it's getting a bit dark, so let's head inside for this. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing, you guys? Okay, let's go into the inventory. This is gonna be the best Christmas ever. Christmas Eve ever. Okay, add birthday candles. Let's do this and help little Esther age up. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know. Help blow out candles, little Esther. And then we'll age up the other toddlers as well. I might do that off camera actually, because it might take a while. But let's do this. Okay, where? Where's that stuff? She's getting really grumpy and angry. Oh, look at this little guy, little Carl playing. Max is like, oh, he would, I wonder if he feels defensive when Elliot gets too close. Even though they're really good friends, I just, 
there. She's like, all right, everyone, it's time for little Esther to age up. Oh, did you see how Max looked at Esther just then? This is like a big deal. I feel emotional. Look at this little buttercup. Oh. She did it. She blew out the candles. Where's Max? Oh, Esther Judy aged up. Oh. Select an aspiration and trait. So let the games begin. She's got motor skill, social skill, mental skill, and two creative creativity skills, which is very good. I'm sure Judy would be very proud of her. So maybe let's go into creativity, I think. And another trait can be creative to go with that. I think that'll be awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She looks more like Max, I think. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. <gasps> wow. Okay, we have to swap over to Max quickly. All right, so I've just swapped over to Max. Max's point of view just quickly. So where is... Where is Esther? Where did she go? I've lost Esther. I've lost the birthday girl. Okay, we have to find her. Where is she? Is she around the back of the house? No, that's Victoria. Clarice is asleep. Or maybe she went to bed because she's really tired. What? Is she upstairs? <gasps> there she is. Okay, let's get Max to have a little bit of... <gasps> no, 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 no. Don't go to bed. Don't... No. Oh, wait. That's Hugo. Okay. Heartfelt compliment quickly before she hops into bed. Okay, good. Don't worry, in the next part, we'll have a proper look at her and give her a makeover. But right now, my priority is for her and Max May pick to bar. have some daddy-daughter time, you know? Like, he is huh. her dad, and even if he's not with her mom, it doesn't mean that she can't be really close to him and love him lots. So, yeah, they're going to definitely co-parent, which is going to be really, really cute. Oh, I'm so excited. And actually, I'm curious to see their relationship. What is their relationship? It looks like it's pretty low if we can't see it. Oh, no, it's pretty good. They're friends, but they could definitely be closer. Um, oh, my gosh. And he should totally put her to bed. I know she doesn't have a bigger bed right now, but he can just put her into Bailey's bed, maybe. Okay, um, look, Jeffrey is so socially awkward. This is just not the time. He's like, do you want to hop into bed? I'll tuck you into bed. You've had a big birthday. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll put her into Bailey's bed until she gets her new bed. And that is so beautiful. What a beautiful Christmas Eve. I can't. I just can't. Oh, Sweet dreams, little Esther. Daddy's tucked you in. Oh, You guys. All right. Well, I'm going to leave this part right here. As I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a merry, merry Christmas. And of course, as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.